Make it through? Yeah, it's it's just uh, probably a bit like we've given ourselves an opportunity now to to have a crack, and we have. I mean, we've we've done the work. Um, boys are super today, and giving ourselves um, you know a rest next week, and then an opportunity to hopefully take home um, you know another flag. Yeah. The scoreboard might indicate something different, but uh, but, the, but it's still a pretty tough encounter out there. And does it feel a little bit different playing Waterdale here at Windsor Park than it would at Newcastle down south? Um, no, not necessarily. We've trained here the last couple of weeks, and we. Uh, we're pretty used to the ground now, to be honest. We played here twice this year, um, so we didn't really, you know, didn't bother us about the oppo um, and playing Lauderdale here. We knew what they were going to bring, and um, yeah, you're probably right in the fact that the game continued to, to flow even late. I mean, they kept a couple of late goals, and um, you know, when you're playing Lauderdale, you know what they're going to give on the inside of the contest. They've got some really good inside mids, Bill Chambers, Walsh, you know, Franklin, these guys. So, you know, they weren't going to stop. Um, you know, and credit to us, I don't think we stopped either. Yeah, this probably won't be great. Um, you're probably not going to like my answer here, but I couldn't really care less, to be honest. Uh, not Nothing that comes outside our four walls of our footy club, we take any notice of. We don't care what other people say. We, you know, we just got to do our job. Um, we did today, so we've got to back it up in two weeks' time and, and do our job again. Yeah. And also, uh, the injury to, to Braden Van Buren, uh, he was going to swing at half-time. Yep. Yeah, so Braden looks like a dislocation, whether it was shoulder and elbow, I haven't been told yet, but it, uh, I did hear that it went straight back in. So, unsure about that one. And Alex, yeah, unfortunately it was a knee, so uh, it doesn't look good. Yeah, so yep. for Braden, at least he may well be back in two weeks' time. Isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone to hospital now, so I probably wouldn't have thought. No. I guess with Alex, he made a start, obviously wrapped up the rest of the game today. Yeah. It's too early doors now, but what sort of plans do you think are in place uh, in the grand final without your... Uh, yeah, you're probably right there. We've got to look at what Park can do for us, and he's a pretty quality ruckman. Um, we're pretty happy with what he does in our forward half. So, um, you know, Tom Donnelly rucked for a little bit, and Jackson Callow rucked for a little bit. So, um, and I actually didn't think Smith dominated. I mean, probably the first five minutes after Alex went down, um, they got on top of us around the contest. But after that, I thought, thought those guys did a pretty good job to nullify his, his influence. And, um, yeah, as you said, we're going to have to spend some time because no matter who we play, whether it's Smith again um, or Hamish Leadham, they're both pretty good ruckmen. So, we're going to have to put some time into what we do with that. Yeah, um, probably didn't think about it or reflect on it. Um, the guys touched it during the week with both Jack and I until we won the game. If we lost the game of footy, it probably would have put a sour note to it. But, um, yeah, it's a great achievement for, for Jack and, and I to get life membership at the footy club. Jack's won six premierships of our footy club, including Colts under-18s and seniors. So uh, he's a fair player and um, probably took a bit, bit of time for the competition to know the Jack event. And I'm... To be honest, I don't think the competition still knows much about Jack Event, which is a credit to him. He just comes in and does his job, whether it's on field or whether it's training. Um, he's seen our leadership group. He's been our vice captain previously in the last couple of years, stepped down this year to, to give someone else an opportunity, but he's still in our leadership group. He's been there for five, six years within that group, so that could probably tell you a lot about the person. Yeah, it's funny you say. I, even in, during that game there, I felt like I was out there teaching the guys and, and still um, asking things of them, which probably haven't had to do in the past, especially last year with the group we had. But that's that's an exciting thing that um, they probably didn't know what today was going to bring and they're not going to know what two weeks brings. So, one, it's our job to explain to them and, and understand that it's business as usual. Um, two, it's a really exciting opportunity for our footy club to, to give guys a crack at it, whether it's the guys that played last year, another opportunity, or it's the new guys to our footy club that get that opportunity to play on TCL Grand Final Day. It's one of the best days of the year, so we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Right, well, you're disappointing results today, mate. Come up against a, a very good side in your yep. contest. And what was your message to the boys after the siren today? Ah, look, we... we I suppose, you know, obviously disappointed. Um, we were very keen to come out and give a good account for ourselves and we are probably just different stages of the game where they got those easy um, kicks and easy goals. Um, where we probably let them off the chain a little bit. Um, and so we just probably didn't batten down the hatch as well enough in the first. Um, 
and there was only probably a couple of lapses that um, you know really got him on top uh, in the first quarter. So a couple of you know free kicks that we don't we try not to give away that uh, was a bit easy. Um, so so that was probably the biggest thing. It was the you know what, we did a lot of things right. Um, we just probably a lack of concentration at different stages hurt us. Yeah. Yeah. Look, we uh, we mucked around with it a little bit in the f- second quarter when we had our opportunity to uh, score some goals, and you know a lot of our uh, kicks were hitting the fifty, and instead of carrying the ball through the the lines and and probably trying to get a little bit deeper and put them under pressure, which you know they defended really well for the first half of the second quarter, and uh, I think we might have got a couple of goals uh, uh, at some stage, but you know we really really didn't trouble the scoreboard um, as well as we would have liked. Um, and that, that, I think the breeze actually kicked up a bit, so they defended really well, um, and we probably wasted a, a fair bit of the ball. So it's probably the, the major thing, I guess, in an area of improvement, <coughs> you do get the second chance, given the season, yep. uh, that just that, that cleanliness going inside 50 and probably just being more aware of where the game's at. So yeah, look, uh, <coughs> we, we try to flick the ball around, and um, you know, part of what we wanted to do was get it forward and... Put them up, get them under a bit of pressure and get them to defend. I don't think we got them to defend, um, you know, probably until parts of the third and parts of the fourth where we had a little part, parts of the game where we controlled. Um, and I thought we defended quite well in the third, but um, we actually didn't make them defend at all and we wanted to make them defend. Um, I think when they when they have to defend, um, you've got opportunities to score against them and they don't run the ball as well. But um, we, we actually didn't put them under pressure enough. So that was probably the biggest thing. Do you feel every time you come up against North Monsters and you sort of learn Another lesson of maybe how to work out, how to break their game down? No. <laughs> no. No. Okay. They, they just play better crap yeah. footy than we do. They just tacked it forward better than we did. And, um, but then they run forward and get on the end of it. So, um, you know, we just didn't... Uh, we just didn't make them defend, you know. Once the ball goes their way, they run really well through the lines and uh, unless you can make them defend, they just keep running forward of the ball. Um, so, you know, I think uh, when Lee went down, we are able to make them get on the back foot a little bit and make it a little bit more even um, around the stoppages. So that was the, that was the big thing. Yeah. Obviously, your priority next week is going to be to beat Launceston and make sure you make the grand final. But knowing you will go and face North Launceston, uh, is that sort of, would that wear on the back of the... Nah, it's a different team. We've got nine different players from our grand final team last year, so I reckon if we started thinking about that now, we would uh, we might as well just get on Mad Monday now and don't worry about Launceston. Where well, our focus is pretty firmly on Launceston right now, and um, then have a crack. But there's no fears from North Launceston for us. Yeah. Absolutely none at all. <coughs> Yeah, he played a little bit of a defensive role on Foon today, which I thought he did quite well. I think Foon ended up with about 15 um, touches. Um, we rate Foon really highly, and we wanted to try and get him out of the game a little bit and um, curb his influence on the game. So I thought Raglioni was able to hit the scoreboard over the back of him a little bit. and. Um, I probably didn't play it as well as we'd like. Um, I thought he, he... I'm not sure how many goals he kicked, maybe one or two, but um, he, uh, he did get over the back of him a bit, but um, probably... Um, was too defensive on him and um, once the ball got over the back we really wanted him to open him up but um, that, that didn't happen as well as we'd like but I thought he did a good job on him. F- Foon's a 25 plus possession winner and, and uses the ball and chops everything off so um, yeah, I thought he did a pretty good job on him. Just touch up there, no fears with facing North Launceston if you were to meet them again in the grand final I guess no fears with the Blues either you've um, met them um, a few times this year. Uh, no, no, we've had, we've had really good contests with them. Um, so, uh, you know, I said earlier in the year that I really rated the um, Launceston and I think they're a really good team. They've come from the start of the year. You know, obviously, they've made lots of talked about how far they've come from the start of the year. I think uh, you know, we've probably seen that earlier in the year that I thought they were a really good team. So, um, you know, obviously the winner next week goes into the grand final and, um, you know, they're certainly, they would have been here watching and picking us to pieces and getting ready to um, set up on us. So, um, you know, I think it will be a really good battle next week. No, no, we've got a clean bill of health. We'll probably get, uh, we'll get Mitch Anton back, who gives us a really good run from behind. And obviously Josh McGuinness, um, he'll come back. So it's just that he's the back line up a little bit. So, And that means we can move the players around a, a little bit more than uh, we were able to today. All right. Thank you. Cheers.